As Holly was growing up into a young lady, me and Bones would sit in the garage and talk about uh, who's Holly going to marry or what's going to go on about our kids. And we both agreed it would have to be the perfect guy before she would consider even a date. Well, the years went by and there was no dates. More meetings in the garage. Then one day Holly comes home and says she's moved to North Carolina. That shocked everybody. Not only was she leaving, but she was actually flying away. Holly let everyone know that when she come home that her life was great in North Carolina and had no intentions of ever moving back. That was until one summer on her visit home she met that perfect guy. I met Holly at uh, Social in Devlin, and when I first seen her, I just kind of knew that she was something special about her. I was home, I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I was home for a visit on Easter, and I went to a party. And Shocker. <laughs> and he was there. And we basically spent the whole, like, the whole, we were at a social and then we were at a party after. We spent the whole time talking. And I got home at, I, the party was still going. I got home really late and I told my mom I met my husband tonight. <laughs> I don't know if he wants to take me, but like, I met my husband. I know I'm going to marry that guy. One day, me and Bones were sitting in the garage, and Holly comes in and says she's going on a date. A fishing date. Bones just about fell out of his chair. I think we went fishing, actually, one of the first dates out in the boat. Well, that's why, and then took her out for dinner, and, uh... I guess it wasn't your typical first date. <laughs> well, we were down in Duluth. We went for the whole weekend and um, I had the ring on me all weekend in my pocket and so it was kind of, she had no idea that I had the ring. It makes sense though now because he could not, he wouldn't even like, he, he was clutching that ring and it's, like he wouldn't even hold my hand when we were walking out there. <laughs> like it was a freezing cold day at the end of April and I just kind of told her, said just look around the light tower, go for a little walk and she came back around the light tower and I was down on one knee and proposed to her and it worked out perfectly. Everyone left the, la everyone left the site because everyone watched the ship come in and we went out at a perfect time and it all happened right there. That's a good compromise, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a dog. Welcome to this celebration. It's a celebration of love, of family, of marriage, and especially the celebration of the love that James and Holly have for each other. This is an incredibly beautiful place piece of God's creation. It's a holy place, a sacred place. It's a place where love is, and wherever love is, God is. And so we celebrate today the love that Holly and James have for each other. James, count yourself lucky. Up until four years ago, I didn't think Holly would change anything for anybody, especially a guy, unless you were Howie D from the Backstreet Boys. We have come together to celebrate this marriage, and marriage is the promise of hope between a man and a woman who love each other, who 
trust that love and who wish to share their future together. She FaceTimed me one night from Charlotte and said, you'll never guess who I've been talking to. James, that was you. I said, really? Like from emo? Does he talk? She said, oh my God, he doesn't shut up. James and Holly, shortly you shall say a few words that will make you take you across a threshold of life and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Hi James, take you Holly to be my wife. Hi Holly, take you James to be my husband. My best friend. My faithful partner. And I want your love. And it is my pleasure to present to you, James and Holly, Mr. and Mrs. Kane. And the reason why we are all here tonight, the wonderful, beautiful couple, James and Holly. James and Holly, marriage takes work. Not every day is going to be rainbows and butterflies. I've learned communication is a good thing. We married each other, which also includes each other's families, so balance can be key. And most importantly, keep God at the center of everything. I came across this on the internet and I liked it. They say you don't marry someone because you can live with them. Marry someone because you simply can't live without them. So I'd like you all to raise your glasses and toast the newlyweds. Cheers, Jane and Molly. <laughs> 